Um, obviously, we're in our Mac on test plan. Looking rather nice, looking uh, yep. spick and span. Uh, it's pretty different from a production environment. I mean, what would be a, a typical day-to-day -day that you've seen of someone using this in a in a production facility? It, it can vary. I mean, I always discuss with customers at the, at the, the, the start, do you, do you see this project being a, a production-driven project? As in, do you want to use it on every single batch to understand batch-to-batch -batch variants? Or do you see it as a, a QA or a QC uh, tool where you want to try and understand at pilot scale uh, how your blend is working and you then look at your blend times and your fill levels and your your um, your filling regimes and then um, you can then translate that through to to scale up um, and then hopefully it becomes entrenched in the in the company's ethos in yeah, uh, use the data understand and, and ultimately to help cut down on non-conformances which I think is the ultimate goal is uh, people's brands are, are, are very important to them um, and it's ensuring that you're putting everything in place to kind of uh, protect that um, uh, reputation.